Huchin fishing is first of all a great mental challenge. Huchin is a, a species six million years old. In comparison to people, us, we are a generation of brown trout. More than people are between 25 and 30,000 years old. So in this game, Huchin is here, we are here. We need to respect this hunter, this beast. In order to get the beast, you need to think as a beast. You need to act as a beast. And at the end of the day, you need to be the beast. It's our instincts that are problem for us to understand this fish, to understand how to hunt the hunter, because we have lost most of our instincts. And Hitchin is at the top of the food chain with the maximum instinct. For all of you who would like to go for Hitchin, you need to respect that fish that is older than we are. For swimming in this nice Sava much before the humankind came here. So that's the game, mental challenge. How to catch the, the hunter, how to hunt the hunter. This is how. It's an ambush hunter. He is mostly hunting from an ambush. So we ambush the fish. We are waiting in the ambush for him to come for a certain position when he is normally making the ambush. It's always the best corner for him to take the fish with the minimum energy invested. We, as a human kind, we are not finding ourselves at the top of the food chain. This fish is as a stronger instinct than we do. And always try to get the fish with the minimum energy. That's why he's coming to the ambush. We need to know exactly riverbanks, stone structures, light changes, shadows, everything of a certain spot in order to detect the perfect casting spot. If the spot is still water, we do not cast much. Cast and delete strategy contains, among other things, also one cast strategy, two cast strategies, depending on the certain casting spot. Because if the water is still, we do not need to cast non-stop. If the huge is ready to take, it will take on your first cast. So why to cast non-stop? You will scare the whitefish, foodfish, and he will hunt another side, not in front of you. So if the water is still one cast, the maximally second cast will be enough. And if you are casting in a stone structure in the stream, you can make multiple casts. This is my first time here in Slovenia on Save River and I like it very much and uh, because of the good support of Cast and Believe team I also caught a huge Huchen, an alpine salmon and uh, I was uh, catching it 
on uh, the mouse, on the spinning rod. My brother is going to go to the house. Let's go. Yepa! So, Leo, wie viel der Wurf? Erster Wurf, heute mit der Maus. Perfekt. Und gleich hat er eingeschlagen vor den Füßen, oder? Ja, schon so 10 Meter ungefähr. 10 Meter. Perfekt. Und also gut, lass das schöne Fischle wieder schwimmen. Ab in die Natur, mein Baby. Genau. Perfekt. Leo? Catch and release. Adulation. Super. Weiter geht's. Cast and believe. Ja. Usually I'm a fly fisher, so I'm going for the second Puchen now uh, to catch with the fly and I hope to get a good one. So good. let's get started. Good luck. Thank you. If you already booked a hosted guided fishing trip, let the guide do his job or her job. Because if you come with us to the river and continue doing what you're doing normally on your river, where is the need for the guiding? So it's very important this communication between the guide and the person who is fishing at the moment. People will believe in what they decide to believe. My job as a professional fishing guide is to direct them to believe the strategies which are proven to be successful. Slowly go. Go, go. Good fish. Yes. Allora ragazzo mio, grande, cast and believe, cast and believe, all captain team, <laughs> porco di oh. Allora ragazzi, bravo, possiamo andare, 85, 
di bellezza vera il fiume Sava Casten Belir Dobar dan, jaz sem Matej Šparovec, gospodar Bivške družine Radovalca in to že kar 34 let polnih. Vse leta smo se dajali v naši ribiški družini, da bi stanje sulca povečali, kar je bo po preteklih mandatih, ne mandatih, v obdobju zelo težko, ker ni bilo naravne hrane, naravne prehrane, pravzaprav je bila naravna prehrava, ni bilo pa umetne hrane, tako da je bil pridelk sulca zelo, zelo težaven. Odkr se je pa pojavila na trgu prehrana za rast brekone sulca vseh mladic, smo se polotili svojega smukana, tako da vsako leto predelamo kar več tisoč, 40-50 tisoč mladic sulca in takrat se je pri nas v naši savi stanje sulca povečal do maksimuma. Smo pa imeli velik problem pri dobiti goste. Takrat sem jaz to postik z Veliborom Ivanovičem, to se pravi šefom Kestnem Beljutima, če bi bil pripravljen pri nas svojdet goste. In rekel bomo pa probali in prvo leto jih je bo mislim, da 70 komadov in takrat smo samo še nadaljevali in nadgrajevali to do današnjega dne. Zdaj, ki imamo ta Hukan Cup imenovan skupni lov sulca mednarodni, je bila ta udeležba v kratkem času zapolnjena, tako da smo mogli udeležence prav odbijati, da je preveč, ker bi bilo preveč ljudi. Povdark pri temu Huhan Cupu je pa tako imenovanja proti elektrarnam, proti jezovom, ker pred časom, to je zdaj ne 5-6 let od tega, je bila želja, da bi na našem delu save, to se pravi tam na globokom, naredila eno hidroelektrarno in to bi pa pomenil smrt za sulca, ker ne bi več prehodov bilo, In te dejanski oceki bili prekratki in bi slejko prej izumrl. Zdaj, Zavod za ribištvo je pred leti tudi označeval sulca in tudi na tem področju, ki se zdaj nahajamo, na posavcu, so bili ujeti primerki, ki je bil vložen v kranju. To se pravi, da je prišel 20 km dobrih gor za teritorijama, za samicev, kakorkol. Bil pa primer k tudi sulca, ki je bil ujet na jesenicah. To se pravi, da je zelo pomemben dejavnik, da ni elektraren pri temu prehodu sulca, tako da jaz upam, da bo naša borba, a pa zavedanje, da to posredujemo ribičem praktično z celega sveta in da nas podpirajo, da te elektrarne pri nas ne bo. Bo pa vesele za vse bodoče rodove, če bo imel ribo v vod. Krasno je to za turizem, ker vsaka občina se lahko samo želi tako gosto, ki so ribiči, ker po svetu so poznani kot najboljši gostje, ker največ zapravijo. Radi lovijo, radi, moramo povedati, da so oprema, je zelo draga, karte tudi niso več pocen, samo za nga ta pravga ribiča je poj še vse zraven tvakrat tok, nastanitev, prihrana in take stvari. In jaz mislim, da bi to morali vse podpirati. Ron, was habe ich gesagt? Bis mir am nächsten Platz sind, hast du schon den ersten Fisch. Halt ihn, halt ihn einfach, der hat doch Power. Einfach Route hoch, 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 gut. Ja, immer hoch lassen. Hoch. Ja, einfach gut machen und hoch. Hebst du oben die Route, greifst du weiter oben am Fisch. Ja, ja. Genau, und die Route hoch. Und jetzt halt ihn einfach. Ja, ja, bis er gemütlich wird. Bis er gemütlich wird. Route hoch. Ja, ja, das ist toll. Hoch, hoch. Ey, geiler Fisch. Oh, 
Jungs, so werden Fische gefangen. Ja. Wie viel der Wurf? Erster Wurf. Okay. Wie ich gesagt habe. Drehst du mit zwei Händen greifen dann? Und jetzt wird die Füße durchschwimmen. Achtung. Nimm den Schwanz. Nein, nein, nein. Ich weiß nicht, ob man die Hose einhängt oder so. Da geht es raus. Nein, 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 nein. Das mit beiden Händen. Ein Monster, yeah. Fisch gesichert. <lacht> Petri. Petri, Christian. Jungs, was Jungs. ist das für ein Fisch? Geil. Petri. Ich nehme diesen Schädel an. Jetzt geht dieser geile Mega-Fisch 1,22 zurück. Guckt euch die Maschine an. Warte, Fisch ist groß. Da war ein Kiemendeckel gehakt. Offen, offen deine Rolle ein bisschen und warte, bis er bereit ist. Ich komme zu dir jetzt langsam, machen wir das zusammen. Hast du Kopflicht? Ja. Mach. Ja, ja okay. Langsam. Langsam, langsam. Also. Jochen von Regisburg mit uns und Sava. Schon eine schöne, dicke Fisch mit seinem Superzopf gelandet. Alles richtig gemacht. Ich habe spät zum Top-Gumpe gekommen. Das verstöre nicht die Atmosphäre. Fünf Minuten später, Jochen schreit schon Fisch. Also schöne, dicke. Also Jochen, nochmal Petri Heil, mein Freund. Vielen Dank. Zeig uns diesen schönen Fisch, bevor wir zurücksetzen. Langsam. Hier ist tief, ich kann nicht rauskommen. Ich kann nicht rauskommen. Fantastisch Fisch. Bravo, mein Freund. Bravo, mein Freund. Jetzt, warte, warte, warte. Gib mir ein Smile. Drei. Okay, Jochen, zeig mir diesen Fisch nochmal. So, nicht hoch. Genau, lass uns sehen, diese fantastische Tier. Gutmetrige Fisch. Okay, jetzt release, mein Freund. Lass diesen Fisch gehen. Wow, wow, wow. Und für dich, dickes Petri. Petri, danke. Kannst du believe? Bitte hoch. Hoch. Ja, genau. Mia San Mia in Slowenia. Komm, nimm die Kescher bitte. So, Mann. Rote hoch. Langsam, langsam, langsam. Spannung, Spannung, Spannung. Und langsam, Sofa. Spannung, voll Spannung. Perfekt. Gute Fisch. Oh, Hupo, Hupo. Gute Fisch. Bravo. Gib mir bitte Kescher. Mia San Mia in Slowenia. Hab ich, hab ich. Jawohl, Paul! Der Mann. Herzliche Gratulation. Merci. Merci. Super. Max. Zwei. 
Okay, release. Let's. Dietrich Heim. Now she's gone. Perfect. Thank you. Heute ist ein guter Tag. Guter Hochhalt, immer schön Oberhalt, ja. Richtig großer Fisch. Richtig großer Fisch. Meter 15, Meter 20 bestimmt. Oh. Hä? Wow. Was haben wir gesagt? Leck mich am Arsch. Ich verstehe ja. jetzt auch, was mit der... Warum so eine starke Warum Rute braucht. Wir verpickt fast die Knolle. Brutal. Spannung. Spannung. Noch Kraft. Hier Spannung, Spannung. Jetzt ergehen weg. Jetzt ziehen wir das Schmur. Ja. Ja. Warte. Warte da oben. Sehr gut. Ich komme, ich komme. Ich habe Bild. Ja, ja, ich habe Bild. Ja. Nehmen du, du langsam rausführen ein bisschen. Spannung, Spannung, das ist übel. Spannung. Ah, hängt spitz, er ja, hängt ganz spitz. Darf ich ihn nehmen? Warte, ich, ich nehme, ich nehme Fisch. Langsam, ich nehme Fisch, langsam, ich nehme Fisch. Spannung, Spannung bitte. Spannung, Spannung. Weiter. Was ein Oschi! Fisch gesichert! Uh! Leck weiter raus! raus. Ein Riesenfisch, ein riesen, riesen, riesen Fisch. Ich bin, ich bin, ich sag's euch, ich bin so happy. Eine Wanne, also wenn wir nachher vielleicht hochheben, seht ihr, es ist, es ist abartig. Ich war mit zwei super Geiz unterwegs, muss ich sagen. Ich habe irre viel gelernt und danke. Danke, 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 Custom danke, Belief. danke. Custom Mega! Belief. Release this beauty now. Release this beauty. Schau dir das an. Release Schau dir. Warte, bis dass ich meine Kamera auch anmache. Und dann machen wir Release. Warte, zeig mir dein schöner Fisch. Mir auch. So, bleib, bleib so. Schau, schau mal in mir. Ja. Schau mal in mir. Lassen wir ihn gehen, den Jungen, der möchte. Okay. Schau mal, Großer. Schau mal, Großer. Yeah, Mann, das Tag ist. Wuhu, hast gewonnen. Wie geil. Custom Believe. Alter, Alter. Alter. Gratulation an Guide. I'm fishing for more than 40 years. Uh, my late father was a great fisherman and I didn't have any chance to fish with him. He died when I was eight. So that could be the reason that I expressing so much passion while fishing. Custom Believe Team is a group of uh, good friends, uh, nature protectors and of course crazy fishermen. We are trying to make an impact to auditorium in order to learn how to protect the rivers who are from many, many aspects and dangers. Our Sava here is one of the last free-flowing rivers in Europe. This stretch does not only belong to you, Slovenians, it belongs to the whole world. It's a world natural heritage site. We don't need UNESCO shield to tell us that we feel that it belongs to the whole humankind and we need to protect it. By our presence here, by our fishing here, by our uh, event organizations here, we are raising an awareness that this should be protected, this last blue heart of Europe. Because the money never sleep, if we don't do it, somebody will try to bring here, here river dams to build a river dam. We do not want to allow this. So the Custom Belief Team is a group of the people who are trying to promote sustainable fishing, who are thinking green, and think greening is green steps. Green steps enter the nature, and with the green steps go out of the nature without uh, endangering the complete nature that you are spending time in. That's not only fishing, it's this management of this uh, 
uh, natural resources that we need to protect. And that's why I promote this, this uh, green thinking in fishing. Buchen sind eine ganz besondere Fischart. Sie sind nicht einfach zu fangen, sind sehr vorsichtig und es gibt einige Themen, die zu berücksichtigen sind, wenn man erfolgreich auf Buchen angeln will. Das erste wäre, man muss sehr, sehr leise sein. Die Fische sind sehr scheu und wenn man auf dem Boden auf den Stein läuft und es knirscht und kracht, das ist schon ein Zeichen für die Fische. Ups, da ist jemand, da muss ich aufpassen. Also immer schön leise bewegen, nicht zu viel bewegen und ausharren. Hier hinter uns haben wir einen wunderschönen Platz zum Angeln. Eine dicke Kurve mit Strömung, Steinstruktur und auch Auslauf. Der prädestinierte Platz, um Huchen zu fangen. Viele fragen mich, was mache ich jetzt an so einem Platz? Wie funktioniert das? Wie muss ich werfen? Wie muss ich führen? Und das kann ich mal ganz kurz beschreiben. Wir haben da immer mehrere Optionen an jedem Platz, denn die Fische kommen immer an die gleiche Stelle zum Fressen. Und äh, wir positionieren dann die Klienten, die Kollegen immer so, dass jeder die optimale Chance hat, einen Fisch zu fangen. So, nachdem der Tobias ein paar Bisse hatte und du wirfst rein und kriegst den Biss und kriegst einen Fisch. Jawohl, Route hoch, mach langsam auf, auch halte, Bremse gleich ein bisschen auf. Perfekt. Ein wunderschöner Fisch. Warte mal, bis er schön hochkommt. Genau. Der kann noch ein bisschen, lass ruhig Zeit, es, es kann nichts mehr passieren. Jawohl! Patrick? Wahnsinn! Gratulation! <lacht> Super! Das fängt hier an, am Einlauf des Pools, an der Randströmung, wo man dann den Kollegen direkt platziert damit er indirekt den Fisch anwerfen kann und den Köder ganz langsam wieder zu sich herführen kann. Wichtig ist, Rute hoch und ganz langsam bei der Oberflächenfischerei. Denn die Fische stehen einfach auf ganz natürliche Bewegung. Und eine Forelle, die bewegt sich nicht diagonal, kreuz und quer, die bewegt sich immer seitlich oder nach vorne oder nach hinten. Und das ist einfach sehr wichtig und die, die äh, Verhaltensweise muss man im Prinzip mit dem Köder nachimitieren. Man wirft also 90 Grad aus zum, zum äh, Platz, wo man steht und lässt dann den Köder indirekt zum Beispiel an dem Felsen vorbeitreiben, damit wenn ein Fisch da steht, der Köder kommt, er den Fisch oder den Köder indirekt äh, schnappen kann und dass er den Köder nicht auf den Kopf bekommt, weil das ist unnatürlich und da würdest du keinen Fisch fangen. Der zweite Platz, natürlich jetzt an dem Felsen zum Beispiel, Fische halten sich dort auf, fressen allerdings relativ wenig, weil sie sich da eher ausruhen. Sollte aber ein Fisch aus dem Stein rauskommen, ist der Angler dort der Erste, wo den Fisch bekommen kann. Im Auslaufbereich, ganz unten, wo die Kiesbank meist ausläuft und hochgeht, halten sich die Fische in der Dämmerung direkt an der Kante auf, um dort auf Eschen und Forellen zu lauern. Also geht man an, die End, an das Ende der, der Bank und wirft wieder indirekt an, an den Auslauf, um dort direkt über dem Auslauf den Wobbler, die Maus, den Gummifisch drüber laufen zu lassen. Und dort kommt dann im letzten Moment oft die Bisse auch gern am Ufer, wenn man Uferstruktur hat und hat am Ufer ein bisschen überhängende Äste oder eine kleine Rinne, perfekt, um dort den Fisch zu fangen. Allora, Uno, uno uco, uno uco grande, primo giorno Davide, Davide Chislaghi, Italia, grande pescatore, gratulazione amico mio, cast and believe team, congratulations to all you. Hier in der Saba haben wir unterschiedliche Situationen und zwar haben wir, äh, wo die Strecke beginnt, die Saba Pohinka und die Saba Dolinka und die Saba Dolinka bringt regelmäßig äh, annähernd jeden Tag neues Wasser. Da gibt es einen E-Berg, die lassen immer wieder Wasser ab. 
Und dadurch steigt das Wasser aus ein guter Moment zum Fische fangen. Doch wenn das neue kalte Wasser da ist und ist durchgelaufen, dann kann man beruhigt frühstücken gehen, weil das ganze Ökosystem herunterfährt und die Fische dann natürlich nicht mehr so aktiv sind oder gar nicht aktiv sind. Bis sich das Ganze adaptiert hat, geht man dann frühstücken, Mittagessen ausruhen und wenn sich das Ganze regeneriert hat, kann man wieder rausgehen, da die Fische dann wieder langsam aktiv werden und in ihren Urzustand zurückgehen. Was habe ich dir gesagt? Ja. Werfen also. und Vertrauen. Du hast schon fast aufgeben gehabt ja. und dann kam vor dir der Einschlag, gell? Der König des Flusses. Ja, ein das richtig geiler Fluss. Fisch. Was, gut, mein Was eine Maschine. Was eine Maschine. Herzlichste Gratulation. Danke. So ein geiles Tier. Ja, sobald er dann gleichmäßig sich bewegt, dann geht er ohne Probleme weg. Genau. Kann stehen lassen. Soll ich loslassen schon? Genau, wenn er so geschwänzt ist. Wow. Geil, Alter, geil. Gib mir five. Ah, Petri, äh, danke für alles. Wirklich. Dein Glückswobbler, den musst du jetzt einrahmen. This is an ultimate lure for huchin fishing. It jumps over the rocks on the very river bottom. It's very, very effective. We need to present it properly at the bottom of the river. But even more important than this uh, choice of lure is how to approach the river. You see this area here? It's a big pool, well known among Huchen angler in this area. The, it is a home of huge fishes, but you need to approach it properly. If you go down now and position yourself at the very uh, uh, rear bank, the big old fishes can sense you, actually can even see you. So I'm choosing to stay some 10 meters away in order to stay invisible for the big fishes because very often they are hunting just at the riverbank and it would not be good to see my uh, vision there and my silhouette and my shadow so always stay away when you have the uh, structure of the river like this when you have stones and position where you can uh, find a hideout you can cast a few meters or even from the rock itself but on this area it's very very important to stay invisible for the fish now we change the spot why this spot is great why should we change the spot because we need to uh, let the river to forget us stay still until the river forgets you so we leave this good spot we go some hundred meters upstream cast another good spot and then we come back in and out it's always good to control three or four spots within the area, the part of stretch you, cho you, you choose for the fishing, and to come back in the dark. The most important moment is the moment on the first dark, it's finish of the fishing day. The biggest fish is coming out at that moment to hunt. So I would like to finish uh, my fishing today on this great spot, but in order to make it feasible, to make it possible to catch a big fish, I need to leave now and come back before the dark. So stay still until the river forgets you.
you can see that we have a constant water level changes. It is very important that the river moves, the water moves, the fish moves. It's very important because the old, uh, well-experienced fishes, they know their habitat perfectly well. They know the shadows, the streams, stone structures. They know the river banks. They know it's, it's, it's their world. And it's not easy to trick them in order to take your lure. So the sudden uh, 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 water rise is giving us the chance. The small fishes are getting away from the current in order to save the energy. And the old fishes knows it. So they are using that very moment to ambush them. So that's very important to know that this fluctuation up and down are of the most importance for successful Huchin fishing. So we are following the river and its water level changes. In the moment when the water drops or going up, that's the most uh, uh, effective moments for us to get the huge. Every single fish swim away healthy. We do not hurt them. A bit of shock during the fight. Extremely fast. Landed. With the hand landed, single hook out, and fish is released. It's a bit of shock, but it's a matter of seconds that this fish will be ready to swim away. Massive fish, some meter 15 or maybe more, and strong. Now it's ready to go. Now it's ready to go. Go, my timer. Thank you for the great fight. Custom believe for total catch and release. Go to your kingdom. Bye bye, big timer. Bye bye. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you, cast and believe.
winter fishing for Huchen is high season. So the best months are December, January and uh, until mid of February when the season normally ends. We are guiding our clients into the deep canyons in a very, very specific atmosphere and applying a very specific success successful cast and belief strategy. So we are now here one of the best pools in whole Europe, one can say. It's a spectacular nature, it's very deep, fantastic uh, stone structure of a riverbed, a lot of hideouts for the big predators. So huge are there. The question is, how can we guide a new guy who never entered this world before in order to catch the fish? It's very important that the clients are open-minded and they listen. They need to listen to their guides in order to make the small steps in the right direction. This guy's on a superb spot position. He can cast directly on these stones. His friend is the, in the streams which are entering this beautiful pool and the other friend is back down at the end of this position. So we are covering the all angles in one pool. As a fishing guide, as a member of Fishing Club Radovnica, I can guide up to three person at one time. So it's not allowed to bring a bunch of people on the river. Up to three person can fish with one guide. So we are covering the middle of the pool, entrance and the streams just under. So Huchen are living under the stones. It's their habitat. They live in the siphons, tunnels of eight to 10 meters down on five, six meters deep and going out to hunt. We never know if they decide to hunt upstream or downstream, but whatever they decide, my people will be there waiting for them. Herzlich willkommen, mein Freund. Danke, Willi, danke für die. Also, wie gesagt, Wasser passt, Temperatur ist minus 4. Optimale Bedingungen finde ich, oder? Ja, wir haben schon tagelang gesprochen, wann du, mein Freund, kommst zu mir, mich zu besuchen, ja? Aber genau. jetzt ist alles perfekt hier. Der richtige Moment, kein Zweifel. Einfach tagelang, Wasser war zu hoch, jetzt Temperatur runter, Wasser runter. Bisschen färbig und dann Carsten Belly. Was für Keder hast du vorbereitet? Ich habe jetzt. Ah ja, die richtige Keder ist auch da. Das ist die beste Keder. Mit das fängst du Fisch. Petri Heil, mein Freund. Danke, lieber Carsten Belly. Carsten Belly, immer Carsten Belly. Yes. Da um die Kurve ist die beste Platz, wo du hast eine Strömung. Geh bitte in die Mitte vom Strömung, dann kontrollierst du beide Kanten. Also genau vor fünf Minuten gekommen, genau fünf Minuten mit uns und schon die erste Kuchener. Rute hoch bitte, mein lieber Freund aus Österreich, Michael, guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, Willi Bohr. Was war, zweite, dritte oder vierte? Ich glaube, vierte Wurf. Genießen, mein Freund, Rute hoch, Spannung machen, lass uns schauen, wo dieser schöne Fisch ist. Tog čas smo joj čakali. Tu je pa noro. Uh! 
<laughs> Amazing! Glich parčo je pa je ujel takoj. Ne moram vrjeti. Carefully. Herzlich willkommen in Slowenien. Fünf Minuten, only five minutes here. He just came. Yes, I can't believe this. We are waiting for days. Yes, look at this beautiful fish. Our friend Michael from Austria. He came for three day fishing. He was already a few times with me. We are very good friends. And now he just came. Valibor, should I come? It's a perfect moment. Come. Five minutes. He just told you hello. We go to the stream. I can't Shukast. believe it. Look at this beautiful fat fish. Beautiful oh. Sava Huchen. Look at this beautiful, Amazing. beautiful fish. Amazing. Yes. Now I will, I will set the hook out. So my friend Domen, we were in action few days, and now eventually it's there. But you need it to have this guy here to <laughs> Thank make you. for your fish. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's a super nice fish. So, this is how we do it in Slovenia. Cast and Believe team and our dear friend uh, from Austria, Micha. He just came as a friend to fish with me. And after I told him that the weather conditions are the best, he just visit us. I give him the right lure. It's a sponge lure. And then a few casts later, belly board. I get it. You remember last <laughs> yeah. time when you were yes. with me? How many huge were uh, uh, hunting there, hunting yes. in front of our feast? We didn't get a single one. They were playing with us the whole they time. They were playing with us all the time. But yeah. now our moment came. Here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fish. This is wild fish from Sava. Totally wild fish. Almost one meter. Very wild, very beautiful. The king of Alpine River. So the king from Austria, Kaiser, <laughs> Kaiser from Austria, get the king, Alpine king. So this is how we do it in Slovenia. Now our dear friends from Germany, who are fishing with us these two days, they are just coming to witness this beautiful catch. Yes. So my dear friend Michael, hold your net. And I will make a few photos and then we will release this beautiful fish. You just don't don't hold it up. Nah, just no. there. I yeah. will go down. I okay. will go down. Also, zweite, dritte Wurf. Ich schon. Und dann? Yes. No, nicht in Luft. Nicht in Luft. Nein. Du gehst davon. Give me a smile. Give me a smile. Yes. Give me a smile. Yes. There's a bit of blood. Go go in the water. Clear, clear the, the, the mouth here. You know. Oh, so, like, so, so, with fish. I'm yeah. resting so. I'm resting so. Uh, this is held back. This is held back. No, one hand is good. Okay, you now so. <laughs> Don't release it yet, please. <laughs> it's a very beautiful wild Sava fusion. And I'm congratulating you, my friend. <laughs> now be ready to release it. Yes. Wait, wait. Very nice fish. Okay, we let him go. Bye bye. Yes. Cast and believe, my friend. Cast and believe, him. Bravo. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Er kommt schon jahrelang mit mir. Hallo, servus. Sehr wieder mit Willibor zu fischen, haben wir ausgemacht, Wasserstand ist optimal, wie man sieht. Ja, und war, wie gesagt, von der Autobahn runter, gefragt, wo Willibor gerade am Wasser ist, angekommen, fünf Würfe und der erste Fisch war schon da. Das ist halt, das Willibor, was so Spaß macht, mit Willibor zu fischen und immer wieder gerne. 
What has happened? You just lost the fish. A miracle. Wow. Yes, it was a um, huge fish on the second cast on a famous Tsaki stone. Wow. It's the famous place known for your stone. And um, just, you know, very expected that we know where the fish would be. Uh, we know it's going to be first in the second cast. So the fish slammed my huge wobbler, bad angler. And then I had to basically take it from the other side through the current on my side of the river because it took the lure on the other side of the river. Uh, it was a very, very good fighter, extremely good fighter. I had a very good rod, but the current here is very strong. I would say a fish was between 110 and 120. So that size of a fish and it was splashing and going back to the current, coming back to me. So after one or two, I think about two minutes of fight, maybe a little bit more, I just lost it two meters under my feet because uh, it spitted out the lure. But it was a fantastic fight in the first light and uh, there were two guys, uh, Swiss guys. Actually, actually, uh, actually uh, two uh, clients of mine from Switzerland uh, are visiting us for the first time. Yes. And me and the cameraman who, who is holding this camera at this moment, we came back to the car because I forgot my uh, landing net. Yes. And during that 10 minutes uh, walk, that situation happened. So this is a famous spot here, famous for the big fishes. It has my name on it on the stone, it's Tsaki stone. And it's always a story about big fishes. Sometimes we land them and, and celebrate the, the fight. And sometimes it happens something like this. No, but it's great. It's great. It's, it was a great fight and it's good that uh, guys saw it. Because they were like standing there and like, wow. Because the splashing was really, really strong and the road was really just like slamming bending, the water. Bending <laughs> down. <laughs> no, it was, you know, when the fish is big, you know how it just... But that's, that's the reason why you came here to visit me again. Yes. That's the suspense and then the action. Yeah. And an amazing thing, each time me and Dushko meet, each time we catch a big fish. Yes. Uh, I got the fish uh, 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 last evening and he got the fish the day before. Yes. And today lost a big fish. And if I heard correctly, one of these two Swiss guys... Yes, he lost the fish as well. But also two of us on this Tsaki stone, whenever we come together, we usually have fish one of us. So <laughs> yes, it's, yes. it's the same fish all the time. <laughs> just, we, we just exchange the fish. We, we could sell it <laughs> as the same fish. Evo je naša podmornica, Radovlička, reka Sava. Zora. 117 cm žive vage. Pogledajte tu preko leđa te mišiće, tog jednog Silvestera Stalore. Izuzetna riba, izuzetna riba. Ajmo da to vraćamo na zem. Gule, da te vidim. Kestitko broti. Hvala ti puno. Sa najboljim vodičem na najboljoj reci nema greške. Posebno kad se dođe iz Beograda posle posla. Direktno avionom posle posla na veliku ribu. Ok. It's a beautiful gigantic fish from Saba, one of the best pools in Kenyan. Beautiful fish, look at it. Beautiful fighter, fat. Massive, thick, and happy to go home. Shall we? Cast and believe, my friend. Idemo. Late night flight from Belgrade. Idemo late night. For a big fish. Bye. Cast and believe, my friend. No. I feel tremendous respect toward nature and also toward that old ancient predator. Future. The moment we catch the fish, it should be reeled in very fast, landed, quick photo session, and then released unharmed. It's very important that information that we spread, that we disseminate. So the younger generation who are start, just starting to fish for that great predator are doing the same. Because the every generation needs role models. It's very important we, VIPs, VIP angler, well known angler, how we conduct our fishing, how we uh, manage this fish fight and release, so the next generation could do the same and do it properly. Can we get water again? Yes, of course. So, I am Mia in Slovenia. Spannung. Spannung. Sehr gut. Vierten Wurf. Gute Fisch am Haken. Jetzt kommt zu Papa. Ein bisschen Spannung. 
Ja, kommt zu Papa. Jetzt bist du in meine Richtung. Fisch ist sehr gut, brau. Fisch ist sehr gut. Spannung, Spannung in meine Richtung. Spannung, noch ein bisschen mehr Spannung. Ja. Jetzt Spannung in meine Richtung mit Fisch. Okay. Langsam. Fisch ist gelandet. Perfekt. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Also sehr schön. Dicke, übermetrige Fisch. Wildtier ohne Bluttropfen. Sehr schön, Uli. Er ist wild und will zu Hause gehen. Er ist wild und will zu Hause gehen. Zeig mir diesen schönen Fisch. Zeig mir noch mal diesen schönen Fisch. Wow, wow. Hallo, hallo Junge. Hallo Junge. Ja, ich jetzt wieder ins Wasser. Ja. Ich will jetzt. Ja? Ich will jetzt gehen. Also, Mia San Mia in Slowenia. Cast and believe. Modern way of life is not natural. It's not for the human. We are living in an online era, in a technology boom era, and we start to be pushed away from the nature. Modern uh, people, they are afraid to spend the night in the woods. Modern people, they are afraid to walk these uh, uh, stony uh, riverbanks because we are afraid to come back to our roots. In our hosted fishing trip, it's exactly that what we are doing with our, with our clients. We are spending time on uh, extreme temperatures. At this moment, it's minus six. This morning was minus 13 and we were in the dark chasing for the big predator. The moment you enter the woods on minus 13 in the very dark, your senses start to, to, to send alarm to your brain. Your brain is in a new situation. You need a natural intelligence in order to survive and defy the path. And of course, uh, back to the roots of our present hunters to catch the fish. So you are feeling again alive. You are feeling a part of the nature that modern human are not. Evo jedna lepotice Savske tačovna za ključak u 17.24 je uzela. Jako lijepa. Ajde evo jedna lepa domaća Nisam htio da je navlačim na pijesak sitni, znaš. Hoćeš da snimam? Ela, dragi. Samo polako s njom. Hoćeš da je uzmem je? Lep primjerak. Možeš. Ona se već umorila. Polako ti samo priđi. I preuzmi stvari u svoje ruke. Pa jel to ona moja je? Jeste. Pazi. Ozbiljna je to riba dole. Ne može to tako s njom. Ona ne želi vani. Ali mi nećemo nju vani. Ne mogu da je za rep upati nikada. Samo polako, pa nije dovoljno velika za fatanje za rep, znaš. U, kakva riba. O, kakva ribica. Lepa naša savska lepotica. Vidi ti kako je pirgava. Dobar metarski develi sulac. Da li je pirgava po celom telu? Pirgava je, pirgava je, lepa je, borba, divlja, rijava. Šta kaže braća slovenica? Pa, red je i da se strateg upiš. Pa nego šta? Koliko sam bacao, je li bilo deset minuta? Pa nije mi deset. Pa nije deset, ali red je na kraju dana. Red je, kad niko ne zna da se i ti upišeš. Pa moram na kraju red je da ga i bacam jedan. Da. Isprati je dule kako ide u dubine plave ova lepota. Dakle, bez kapi krvi, kao i uvijek. Uvijek pravi landing. Idi prema meni dule, tu je glib. I se me pravio da ostane bistra voda, da vide ljudi da odpliva lepo. Zdravi metalski sulc. Ide pliva nazad. Uzajno, sami zaključak i sada će sretno da odpliva. Kasne bili u tim uvijek za primjer, uvijek za sve ljude. Kako da se odnosi prema ribi, tako i ona. Plivaj, dragi, vidi kako je lep. Ajmo, dragi, plivaj. Sretan ti put. Plivaj, lepi, umorio se, znaš, bila je borba. Evo ga, radi repom, ide on sad. 
Ajmo, drag, vozi. Ode, ode. Sada će ovdje ispred mene proći. Isprati ga tamo gore. Evo ga, evo ga ispodno. Kako pliva u dubinu. Čao, mili. Isprati tu lepotu savsku našu. It's a good day, very cold, near zero. And water is dropping and changing the color. I'm here with my friend and partner Stane. We are guiding. We are guiding the group of fishermen from Bavaria, from München, and expecting the big fishes. Stay tuned, custom believe. Samo polako. Last cast. Stane has just told me very boring. One more cast, and then it happens. Another nice huge in front of us. Good fish. Bravo Stane. Bravo Stane. Whole day without the bite and then just last cast. He's got us a good fish. Good one, good one. Bravo Stane. Yes, eh, now it's time to land it. Come to Papa. Stane, bring it one more time here. It's easy. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> this is Stane in Valibor fishing. Rock gone home. Rock, look what we do. We, we were just waiting for you to leave. <laughs> Bravo, Stane. Congratulations, Hello. my dear friend. Congratulations, beautiful fish, beautiful fish at the very last cast today, beautiful. Thinking big, fishing with Stane, always thinking big. My friend, take it. Check, check. It's easier, it's on the side of the cat. Okay, take it, take it. Better. Better. Should I go? I got to <laughs> I missed one fish just five minutes ago. It came two times and attacked my lord. But now Stane get the job done. Bravo my dear friend. Voila. Very very good fish. It's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Congratulations one more thank time. Thank you, thank you very much. Just a second, <laughs> let me make a photo for you. Give me your smile. <laughs> Stanis smile is the brand of itself. Okay, enjoy my friend now. Okay. Let's release this. Beauty. Release the fish. Go with the flow. Alpine King, give me five, my friend. Yes. Custom believe, give me five. <laughs> yeah. Und jetzt bitte an alle Huchenangler, fotografieren, filmen, aber nie mit Huchen raus vom Wasser. Egal was wir machen, nicht viel mal auf die Herz drücken, nicht raus. Immer spielen in Wasser, lass das Fisch einfach in Ruhe, kann weiter schwimmen. Jetzt lass uns diesen schönen Fisch zurücksetzen. Komm, Baby, bist du bereit? Bist du bereit? Schau mal, was um diese schöne schwarze Punkte hat. Wie wild ist dieser Fisch? Unglaublich schön, unglaublich schön. König des Süßwasser. Hallo König, hallo König. Kapitalfisch. Jetzt langsam schwimmen zurück in Saba. Vielen Dank. Die starke Strömung war super. Stark Kampf. Stark Kampf in starke Strömung und dieser schöne Fisch kann endlich weiter schwimmen. Ciao und vielen Dank. Es ist er ist jetzt bereit. Er ist jetzt bereit. Ciao, ciao. Papa, bis nächstes Mal. Danke, Dr. Kuchenrock, Custom Belief Team in Slowenien. It's the fishing action that we are looking for, but it's a peace of mind that actually we end up with to spend the time in this nature.
under the Alps to watch the uh, snowy peaks, to drink from this gin clear water, to spend time on these riverbanks, seeing the wild fish hunting. It's more than adventure. It's, uh, it's coming back to our roots. It's feeling the, the instincts of our grandfather's hunters. It's becoming again a part of the nature. So when I'm standing here or lying here, like this moment and watching my clients fishing, I'm thinking about many things that I wouldn't have time to think in my urban life. So that's why we go away from the urban life in order to come back to our roots, to be the human again, to be the human who are part of the nature again. Because the urban uh, way of life, it's, uh, it's a lot of stress for people. It's a lot of commotion. It's a lot of hard moments. You don't have time to look into yourself, to come back to yourself. Coming back in nature is coming back to our roots. It's coming back who we are. In this sun, in this water, in these woods, and these wonderful people with whom I'm spending my time with, it's who I am. It's my way of life and I offer in that to the people to participate in this moment, to share the moment and to be again a part of the nature.